Hello everyone, here I am again. Uh, thank you so much for your prayers for my new job. Today was my first day of work and I'm going to be doing five hours a day, four days a week. Um, so I did my first five hours today and it went pretty well. It was kind of fun. Um, it did wear me out though. I just got home after that and I just ached from head to toe and I had to crash on the couch for three hours straight. So that was kind of annoying, but um, not, not really surprising. Um, yeah. And of course I made my share of beginner mistakes. I overflowed the coffee pot and I used the, <laughs> I used the wrong size cup and all that good stuff. <laughs> oh well, that's part of life, right? Part of learning. Everybody has to learn. And hopefully then those are two mistakes I won't make tomorrow, hopefully. <laughs> oh well, we'll just see how it goes. If it doesn't work, it doesn't work. But. Um, it's worth a try, right? So, um, yeah, what else was I going to tell you? I was going to try to go over to Divine Word um, Catholic Church in, what is it, Kirkland? Kirtland? Kirtland. Kirtland, Ohio. But I only been over there once so I took a wrong turn and then I just didn't have the oomph to continue going there after I realized that I was going in the wrong direction <laughs> so I came to my favorite little lake here and I just sat by the water for a bit so that was beautiful too because um, I like to make a holy hour I love making a holy hour before the Blessed Sacrament and I try to do it as much as I can, um, but today just didn't happen. And um, today is also the 16th anniversary of my daddy's death. So say a prayer for his soul, please, that he may be happy in heaven with the Lord. I hope I get to see him again one day up there. Personally, I'm excited to die. <laughs> that sounds weird, doesn't it? <laughs> but it will be such a, an adventure. I mean, the dying part itself won't be fun, but, but heaven and God, that, that will be fun. That'll be very fun. And no more achy bodies and overflowing coffee pots. That will be fun. <laughs> Oh, anyway, so it goes. So it goes. Um. Yeah, what else do I have to share? I'm still Sister Faustina right now. Um, Mother Abba still has not sent my letter into Rome, even though I wrote it back in July. She's been, she's been super busy. Like I said, the monastery's struggling with a lot of elderly and ill sisters. So she, Mother Abbas is doing a lot of the work over there and she hasn't gotten to it. And then we didn't have a bishop and she wasn't sure where to send the letter. Um, I mean, obviously it's going to Rome eventually, but she wasn't sure if it should go through the diocesan office first. So she got that figured out now. So hopefully it will be headed to Rome soon. Um, as I mentioned in my last video, it has been almost a year since I've been, left the monastery. November 2nd is the day I left the monastery. Um, yeah, so it's coming right up. I can't believe it's been a year, can you? <laughs> and you were all so kind. And when I looked back at that first video I did when I was in um, Farallon, my hair looked terrible. It did look terrible. You were all so nice, but <laughs> it really looked bad. <laughs> I had a good chuckle over that. That was fun. <laughs> um, anyways, I hope Mother Abbas does send the letter in soon because until she does, I keep having those days where I'm like, oh my goodness, I could just call her up and say, Mother Abbas, I changed my mind. I want to come back to the monastery. And I've shared with you all some of the reasons why I left and why it would not work to go back, but there's still that 
longing that it, that I, I wish it had worked. I want it to work. I have always loved religious life. I always loved being a nun. And it was really hard to see when it started to just fall apart. And there was nothing I could do about it. I mean, I used to think um, willpower, backed by the grace of God, could do anything. Maybe he can, but God doesn't always back us up when we hope he will. That was, that was a harsh lesson to learn. That God is not obliged to do what I think he should. <laughs> oh my goodness, God is so patient with me. And he teaches me so gently about what really matters in life. And I mean, in prayer, he's, he said to me over and over, in my eyes, you, you're still keeping your vows. You vowed to be mine forever. You vowed to have me as your number one. And that, that will still continue throughout your whole life, even if you're not living in that particular monastery anymore. So that's comforting, but I will, was hoping to live in that particular monastery for my whole life. And I will be honest, I'm having second thoughts or doubts or whatever you want to call them about um, trying religious life again, either starting a new community or trying to enter somewhere else. Not because I don't want to. I just honestly don't know if I can. I don't know if I have the health, physical, mental, emotional. <laughs> I mean, it's, it's hard. If you put so much energy and so much effort into trying something the first time and then it doesn't work out, to turn around and go back in, it's just like, I don't know if I have what it takes. <laughs> uh, but... I'm not going to say no. I'll just leave it in the Lord's hands for now. Um, I don't know. Maybe I'll end up being a diocesan consecrated virgin instead or a third order member or who knows. There are many different options out there. But yeah, we'll see. I don't know. I can't say one way or the other right now. I just some days feel very worn out and just don't know if I can try anymore. But we'll leave that in the Lord's hands. And we'll just see what happens day by day. The most important thing, as I've said a million times, and I will say it a million more, is just to stay close to God and to live our lives with Him, no matter where we are or what we're doing. Even if we're overflowing coffee pots and picking the wrong cup size <laughs> and sitting on a bench by the water exhausted, you know, all that good stuff. But I did have fun yesterday. I went and visited visited with a friend, and we uh, we just went out and about a bit, and then we had got some lunch together. So, yeah, all kinds of different adventures I'm having here. And I love my little apartment. I love Chardon, Ohio. I love this little lake that I found, and... Um, I still go to daily mass as much as much as I'm able, and um, as I said, I like to do the holy hours at the parishes, and I'm still praying some of the divine office. I don't pray the whole thing every day right now, but I'm still praying some of it. So, overall, life is good. God is here with me, and we are continuing to grow together. I'm continuing to grow with him. I suppose he doesn't need to grow. He's God. He's perfect. <laughs> um, sorry, you can see those cars driving by in the background. I hope that doesn't annoy you too much. I was going to film this by the lake, but it was too windy. And it made windy sounds that got in the way. So, um, that's that for now. God bless you all. Take care of yourselves. I will pray for you. Um, thank you for your prayers for me. And we'll just take life one day at a time. Amen. Hallelujah.